Yeah. Road trips are always a little difficult over the course of four straight on the road. Do you feel like the team maybe came together a little bit over the course of these four games? Uh, possibly. I mean, I think we, we made some improvements. So if that's indicative of uh, a little bit of... Uh, you know, gelling along the way, then perhaps, but maybe Stephanie could speak to that more. I, don't know. I was just going to ask Stephanie. I mean, yeah. It goes back, I think it's what, the last 10 matches have been on the road. Is that sort of giving you guys a chance to sort of bunker up and bond? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, when we go to a hotel, you know, we have different roommates, you know, get to know different teammates a little better. And then also, you know, um, just like locker room, stuff like that, we get to bond, um, listen to music together, stay together as a team. So. Seven, kind of banking off that, now that you guys do get to return home to the PAV, what is the energy like in there, especially that you guys have been on the road for so long, you know, to be able to go back home and have that crowd kind of feel you? What's, what's that atmosphere like for you? Yeah, um, it's great. You know, there's really no place like the PAV, so it should be a good time. Yeah. Coach, talking about Jasmine, she's been performing really well this year. What's it like knowing that you can look to the bench for significant threats uh, when you make your subs? Uh, it's a good position to be in when you have some depth, and it's nice to be able to use that. Um, and then, you know, when you have a large wealth of talent, um, kind of the general consensus is maybe to um, be excited about the future. I know you're more into the now, so what has Jasmine been able to do to adapt into a Division One athlete that can compete with the now? Well, I think she's always been a Division One athlete. It's about becoming a Division One volleyball player, and, and to me that's about her um, commitment to you know, mastery of the fundamental skills, and and in addition, just adding some more tools to the to the toolkit, especially offensively. I think she's developing more range as a hitter, and that's been good for us. Who's off to a great start? Are they playing above themselves, or did you expect that they would have a chance to be as good as they are? No, they're good. I mean, they're senior heavy, and they got a lot of experience. Um, they lost a couple of pieces, but the the core is the same, and certainly the the. Uh, athletes that they've added to their group uh, are strong, so uh, you know it's no surprise that there'll be a handful. They're very physical. I don't think there's anyone in the country like them right now. Stephanie, are you surprised to get this much playing time in your first year? Or was this something you expected coming in? Um, I didn't really come in with any expectations of playing time. You know, um, I just came in with the mindset of that I needed to work. Um, I needed to learn the new um, system and see where I went from there. It's also important to add that we don't promise anyone playing time. Uh, we, we do promise everyone that they'll have the opportunity to earn it, and uh, we promise them that we'll invest completely in their development to that end, but uh, there's no guarantees. It's a meritocracy. Thanks, everybody.